When trying to make a list of the best code and text editors, it's impossible not to miss a few strong contenders. Every writer, coder, and developer has a favorite set of tools, just like every carpenter has a favorite hammer, and an artist has a favorite set of brushes. So if we miss something that you think we should have included on this list, please feel free to tell us about it in the comments below. With that said, here are the 17 best code editors available in no particular order. First up, the free options. Visual Studio Code by Microsoft is for you if you need a code editor. It's that good and it's that popular. While some people might be put off by the Microsoft development, that isn't really a big deal. It works great on every platform we've tried and there hasn't been a noticeable difference in performance between the three. Even though VS Code does have a ton of packages, you can download a customized code editor to whatever you want it to be, you don't have to. It works well from the moment you first run it and the integrated Git and debugger just work. You don't have to fiddle with them to get them configured well. Atom is for you if you're the kind of person who likes to have your software be exactly what they want it to be and do exactly what they want it to do. With the growing library of mods and add-ons, Atom is one of the most customizable code editors out there. It works great out of the box, but its real power comes from the open source community around it and the almost infinite customizations you can add to it yourself. Some folks are put off by the Microsoft acquisition of GitHub, but but in the months since, Adam has continued to flourish. Sublime Text is for you if you prefer a good user experience over anything else. That's not saying it doesn't have the features you need for almost every project, or that it isn't a workhorse that can't handle major projects. It's just that using Sublime Text is the most memorable part of the whole package. And there's a lot in the package. Notepad++ is for you if you are new to code editors and want to ease your way in. Additionally, if you want a resource light option, Notepad++ plus is it. Because of how simple and easy the developers have made it, you're not going to bog down your system as you work. That means you might not be loading gigabytes of information at once, but for run-of-the-mill web development tasks and so on, it's more than enough. Bluefish is for you if you want to learn all the nuance and power of a full IDE. This might not be the best option for brand new coders because it can be overwhelming at first, but if you're willing to put in the effort, you will have a fantastic tool. It doesn't have the polish of the IDEs made by companies like JetBrains, but for a free option, it's phenomenal. Brackets is for you if you've already bought into the Adobe ecosystem. You will feel right at home because Brackets feels like it's a part of the creative cloud, even though it's not. The UIs are similar and it feels very natural if you're coming from Photoshop or InDesign. Additionally, the extract tool makes brackets a near must for the front end developers who work with designers PSDs. Codeshare.io is for you if you need to jot something down in a hurry or teaching someone how to do something or you just need a substitute editor. Codeshare doesn't have the features to be an editor that you use day in and day out, but it's not trying to be. It's a temporary solution for when you have specific needs. The available features make it feel as robust as an entry-level code editor. Vim is for you if you're the kind of person who doesn't just dabble in code, but lives and breathes it. If you have any Linux installation, Vim is for you. However, if you're a newbie, downloading Vim is like stepping into the matrix. It's as powerful as anything out there, maybe even more so, but the brutalist UI can be off-putting. Get past the rough facade and you will find a beautiful experience. Emacs is for you if you like function over form, but Vim is a bit too minimal for you. Additionally, you can install Emacs on any operating system, so no matter where you are, your coding experience will be the same. This is definitely not one of the best text editors for newbies, but if you've been dabbling in different environments for a while and want to take efficiency up a notch, Emacs is what you're looking for. Space Max is for you if you know what this means on the screen. Yeah, enough said. Now let's move on to the premium code editors. PHP Storm is for you if you work in PHP, obviously. But it is also if you don't like to have to configure every last detail as you do with Atom or Sublime. You can install the IDE and start to work immediately. The strongest selling points on PHP Storm come from its incredible power, speed, ease of use, and number of things you can do with it. If you work in PHP, it's worth giving the free trial a shot. WeBuilder is for you if you want an IDE that doesn't bog down your system, 
works like a simple code editor, but gives you IDE features when you need them. If you are a PHP, CSS, HTML, or JavaScript dev, WeBuilder is specifically suited to you. If you're on Mac or Linux, WeBuilder is not for you, as it's a Windows-only code editor. Ultra Edit is for you if you work on large files and incredibly complex file systems. This is an industrial strength program, and that's what makes it one of the best code editors for people whose jobs require gigabytes of code open at a time. With built-in Telnet and SSH access, Ultra Edit is designed to make sure that even the toughest and most complex jobs are handled with care and ease. Coffee Cup is for you if you like to see your code develop in real time. Yeah, this code editor has real-time rendering of your HTML and PHP code. This is a simple yet good choice for your basic needs. Espresso is for you if you like polish. Espresso is stylish and functional and it offers modern features such as real-time editing and drag and drop interface. It is smooth and quick and robust. This is definitely one of the best code editors for web designers as you can see exactly what your CSS and JavaScript does in real time. If you don't mind a license fee, this is one premium code editor you may just fall in love with. BB Edit is for you if you want a code editor that doesn't suck. But if you have more requirements than that, BB Edit is for you if you want a text editor that can handle heavy duty projects and major code bases. If you like to work in an IDE where everything you need is wrapped up into one package, BB Edit may be what you're looking for. And if you're coming from a simpler editor, BB Edit may be one of the best code editors to ease you into the more complexity without overwhelming you with more features than you will likely ever use. Coda is for you if you find yourself with a laptop and need to work on projects. If you're on call or have issues that come up that are incredibly urgent, Coda might be the best code editor for you. With its app interface, you can solve any problem while on the go, and you won't even have to find a spot to settle in, unpack, and connect to Wi-Fi. You can handle it all from the palm of your hand. As I said in the beginning, let us know your favorite code editor in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.